Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and do an update on the whole Azealia Banks and DC Young Fly situation. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, I was talking about how she was on Wild and Out. And basically, big, bad Azealia Banks, honey, left the show crying in tears because DC Young Fly called her ugly. Y'all niggas are fucking everywhere. Like, I don't want to share this with y'all. I'm sorry. And unfortunately for Azealia Banks, she had no clap back in real life the way she has these clap backs on social media. So DC Young Fly, Chico Bean, and Carlius decide to basically relive the events on Wild and Out, and they're talking about how everything went down. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video of DC Young Fly and them going in on Azealia Banks. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. In the building, did she kept talking shit and Fly got back on stage? Hold up, hold up. I got, I grabbed the mic again. That bitch said something about me again. I yep. grabbed the mic and I said, I'm going to say it for a wild style, bitch. And I ran it off again. <laughs> then she kept talking. The bitch kept talking about me. And then Fly came back and hit her one time, one good time about her braces. And then she it was hit her right in the mouth. Bam. It was over after that. I, I hit her, I tapped her ass. And it, ooh, hoo, hoo. it was over with for now. It was over with. All right, let me tell you what I said. Okay, the bitch said something about me. She said something about me. First of all, I didn't know who she was. You feel what I'm saying? I just knew she talked about people online. You feel me? And I always wanted to say something to the bitch. <laughs> we on stage playing the game. And when we playing the game, you know what I mean? We playing uh, uh, like a different version of So Fly. So we be playing a game called So Petty. Show sure was. So. DC it was a petty ass game. It was a petty game. So this all fly says, all my niggas said. He said, uh, something like Nick Cannon so petty or some shit like that. You know, he really wanted Cardi B, but he bought Azalea Banks a little ugly ass instead. But that DC called everybody a little ugly ass. He didn't call his daughter a little ugly ass. Mom. Mom. She called my mama a little ugly ass. Everybody a little ugly ass girl. Then she started talking shit about my nigga. You ain't gonna, never going to be anything. You're, you're never going to make it. You're going to be broke the rest of your life. You're an asshole. Fuck you. And I DC didn't say, say nothing. What I say? What I say? What I say? You didn't say nothing. You said, I'm going to save it for the wild style. And that nigga just ran around the... You feel me? And I always wanted to say something to the bitch. But I didn't know who the fuck the bitch was. You feel what I'm saying? So I got the bitch on the show, the bitch on the show. She said something about me about three, four times. So I finally grabbed the mic. So she had braces on her teeth. But she didn't have the wire on the braces. So I said, you need to find your dentist with his stupid ass because he took the wire and told you to keep the metal. Uh, 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 uh. Then she started crying. <laughs> then she started crying. <laughs> Then she started crying, and everybody went there. We was laughing so goddamn hard. She was so <laughs> mad at me, because I was on the floor laughing at this nigga. Because it wasn't that he said that shit. He kept going like this. <laughs> and she only had him on the bottom. You feel me? So I'm like, what happened to the top, motherfucker? <laughs> that was it. And she just started crying. And I thought they were playing, because... Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what they had to say. So, of course, Azealia Banks was not going to let them get away with that shit. You are not going to be speaking on her, honey, without her coming back with the damn clap back of her own. So, I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Azealia Banks had to say to all these folks, okay? So, once again, her trolling ass decided to read them for the filth on social media. But meanwhile, when she was in their face, she had nothing to say. Go ahead and check this out. So, Azealia Banks says, No, nigger. And you see how she writes it with N-I-G-G-E-R? This girl's a trip, honey. She goes, no, nigger. The reason I cried is because I wanted to call all of you dirty Atlanta, DL, HPV infested maggots, stuck below the Mason Dixon line with no access to health care. I was going to call you all specifically the type of black men black women hate, specifically the type of black men society hates, which is why DC is forced to breed with the bluebliest fat white woman who have low self-esteem, collect government aid, and are just happy to have a man around. I'm 100% sure that DC has a cluster of warts that looks like vine grapes growing out of his ass, but that wouldn't have looked good on MTV. Really, Azealia? Now, what amazes me with this young girl, okay? 
is that she has so much mouth online. She has really good clapbacks. Hell, I was damn giggling while we eating that bullshit, okay? She has all these good clapbacks online, but when she's face to face with these same people, she has no mouth. She starts crying. That was the perfect show that you were on. Wiling Out is a show about roasting and gagging, okay? All the roasting that you do online, it's funny that you cannot do it when you're face to face with these same people. I also find it funny that Azealia Banks, like I've always said before, she can go online and state her opinion. She can trash folks. She can talk about their skin tone, their hair texture. She can call folks a slave. She can promote skin bleaching. She can do all types of fuck shit. But then when somebody makes fun of her, when somebody calls her out, all of a sudden she wants to get into her feelings. It doesn't work that way, sweetie, okay? You can't be out here picking on folks, starting stuff with people, but then when you get that same energy back, all of a sudden you're a victim. All of a sudden you want to cry tattoo tears. At this point in time, I'm going to need Azealia Banks to go sit down somewhere and have a nice tall glass to shut the fuck up, okay? Nobody's trying to hear shit you got to say about these people because you should have bought that same damn energy that you just spent time writing that fucking message. You should have bought that same energy to wildin' out, okay? And being that you didn't bring that same energy to wildin' out, I'm not trying to hear shit you got to say about the wildin' out cast, okay? Thank you. Good night. Go to bed, bitch. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Azealia Banks going back and forth with DC Young Fly. What do you guys think about what DC Young Fly had to say about the situation? And then how do you feel about Azealia Banks getting all this energy all of a sudden to clap back on them on the internet, but yet and still when she was there in the studio, she had nothing to say. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.